वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स टाइटल बेसिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस यूनिट टू एंड लेक्चर ट्वेंटी थ्री नॉन फेरस मेटल इन दिस वीडियो आई प्रेजेंट इन द नॉन फेरस मेटल्स नॉन फेरस मेटल्स नॉन फेरस मेटल्स कॉपर एंड इट्स एलॉय कॉपर एंड इट्स एलॉय property and uses copper is used for the following copper alloys cop brass and bronze copper and its alloy copper and its alloy non ferrous metal it is not available in poor it is not available in pure form or under the earth under the the copper ore or is the first first roasted to dry first roasted to dry out the water out the water co2 and sulfur it is its it is allowed by the melting in a furnace melting in a furnace melting in a furnace of the types of ties used for the throat iron used for the throat iron the molten metal is the molten metal is tapered and transfer to convert transfer to convert where air air is blown to to the, it is the through the to it to the burn of impurities burn of impurities this result in the production of good form Good form copper, known as the ballister, ballister copper, containing the sixty-eight percent impurity, sixty-eight percent purity, and electrical process pure copper dip, deposit, depositioning on the cloth, on the coated. On the cathode, on the cathode, the final refining. This gives the highly pure ninety-nine point nine percent copper, copper which is remelted re and cast into the suitable shape. In highly pure ninety-nine point nine percent copper which is remelted. Which is remelted and cast into the suitable shape. Property properties and uses of copper alloy. Excellent excellent resistance to corrosion and non magnetic property of the copper alloy copper alloys. it is soft it is soft very is malleable ductile and flexible so easy to work high heat and electrical conductivity so it is used in wire so it is used in wire sheet form for electrical process melting point for the copper is 100 Three degree Celsius. It is, it is a thought the strong. It is the thought on a strong. It can be easily polished. It can be easily polished, placed, plate, and the process processes a pleasing appearance. Appearance appearance very good machinability. Very good machinability. copper is used for the following copper used for the in the following industry 
electrical equipment and electrical parts and electrical equipment and electronic equipment heat exchangers heat exchangers screw machining products screw machining products for making various copper alloys making various copper alloys such as the brass bronze copper may be cast copper may be cast for it roll roll and drawn into the wires copper is is the form of copper is form of the tubes is used widely in the mechanical engineering it is used for and other it is used for making the useful alloys with tin zinc nickel and aluminum the copper alloys copper alloys normally process processes excellent corrosion resistance electrical and thermal conductivity some pro, some copper alloys some copper alloys combine high strength and corrosion resistance high strength and corrosion is a combination of desirable desirable of marine and application some some of the copper alloys are selected for the decorative decorative applications and become of the appearance the copper alloys are broadly classified into the following two groups one is copper zinc alloys and copper tin alloy copper bra, copper zinc alloy is also known as brasses which is zinc is the principal of alloying element bronze bro, copper and composition copper tin bronze 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 is the composition of the copper and tin in which tin is the principal alloying element tin is the principal alloying element brass what is the brass brass the most widely used for copper and zinc alloy is the brass there are there are various types of brass there are various types of brass depending upon the depending upon the depending upon the proportion of copper copper and zinc brasses are very resistance very resistant to atmospheric corrosion and can be easily soldered soldered they can be easily for fabricated they can be easily fabricated by the process of the lighting the spinning and can also be elect electroplated with uh, the star nickel likely to nickel and chromium nickel and chromium all the brasses are classified all the brasses are classified alloy of the copper and zinc copper and zinc uh, there are two main types of brass um, one is the alpha brass alpha brass and second is alpha beta brass alpha brass uh, in a contain to the zinc uh, 37% for uh, 37% for the coal working application and alpha beta brass alpha beta alpha contained in 20 alpha beta brass is a 20, 33 33% to 46% zinc in it it is uh, the alpha beta brass is the application of the hot working hot working process brasses alpha brass are very ductile alpha brass are very ductile can be rapidly cold work cold or without any change of fracture without change of fracture as the proportion of zinc increase their strength increase their strength increase the, but ductility decrease they are work hardened 
they are uh, they they are work hardened when the subjected to the intensive cold working but ductility can be regained regain by the analyzing them at the 6 6000 degrees celsius so cooling pro provides the maximum ductility alpha beta brass and alpha beta brass lost the strength at high temperature but because very plasticity very plastic it the responded responded very well were to hot rolling and hot stamping and casting when the cold work cold work and fractures are always likely to develop the following table so the composition of various types of brasses according to the indian standard organization thank you thank you so much in this video i present in this video in this video and uh, the non ferrous metals and uh, non ferrous metal copper copper and copper alloys and copper alloys is the brass and bronze in this video.